Let me demonstrate the concept of the picture plane. Essentially, it is the notion that you have a piece of glass in front of you at uh, 90 degrees to the direction in which you're looking. So if you're looking straight ahead, this is straight up and down. If you start to look down, this remains at 90 degrees to your angle of view. If you look up, so your view is going up that way, this is at 90 degrees to that. And from there, I have constructed this rather cunning device, um, which is a bit like one of those things you get when you go to the eye doctor. You can put your face in here and it keeps your eye steady so that you're looking through this picture plane right here and you're seeing what's on the table in front. And in this particular instance, I've put some pieces of card down. Some of them are squares and the rest are rectangles, about half as long again as, uh, as they are square. So I think they're like four by six. Um, and so what this gives us by maintaining a steady eye position um, is that you can see through the glass at the world beyond and you would trace what exists onto the glass and it would be an accurate representation of where everything is. And with this demonstration of the picture plane, you're seeing the world beyond as it actually exists and then you're seeing the two-dimensional plane or at least the marks that you're making on it. Oh, one thing you'll notice is that once I'm tucked in here and looking down at the bits of paper on the table, my line of sight is actually angled downwards. And because we want our picture plane to be at 90 degrees to the line of sight, it's actually tipped forwards a little bit. Okay, I think it's time I took it for a spin. So I get my arm through here, chin down here, eyes nice and steady, and here we go. Here is uh, one of the squares, so I can just trace that. When you look at something like um, a rectangle which we know is longer in this direction and shorter in this direction, um, what we see and what we think we see are kind of a little different. Because we know this is longer, we think we see a longer line going in that direction. But if we actually measure it, we can take our pen, measure off, let's say, we'll measure it to there. There's my thumb now measuring that. And then we go up this way from the thumbnail. And we can see that the line of the long side is actually shorter than the line of the short side. So that's an example of where what you think you see messes with what you're actually seeing and so you can make all kinds of mistakes as a result of that which is why you know when you're starting out especially drawing from life it's useful to constantly take these flat measurements where you're you're seeing into space but you're still measuring on a flat surface so now you understand the concept of the picture plane.